This week we are in Oklahoma City and we're in the parking lot of the Bass Pro Shop. Not a lot exciting going on in the parking lot of the Bass Pro <laughs> Shop, but we're here to meet subscribers. Yes. And uh, we've been planning to meet them for a while and we're so excited to, to see them and hang out with them today. And then we're going to go explore more of Oklahoma City. Yeah. We only have a couple of things like planned planned, like yes. the Oklahoma City bombing memorial and we're going to the basketball game tonight yes. to see the Oklahoma City Thunder play the Golden State Warriors. And um, we'll see what else we can get into. Lots of cool stuff down here from over here. Yeah. Um, we've been talking about coming here and we've been getting some comments about people suggesting things to go see and do. Yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to Oklahoma City. Let's go. All right, let's go. Today we are at the National Cowboy and Heritage Museum. Yes, good job. Like yeehaw cowboy, not yeah. like bad football team cowboy. <gasps> uh. <laughs> We're gonna go in and check it out. Can you give us a, a yeehaw? <laughs> yeehaw. <laughs> Yeah, I got you for a second there. <laughs> Well, uh, that was awesome. That was way cool. I a thought lot bigger than I thought it would be. Coming into this, I thought this was gonna be like, okay, this will be a time killer, something we can do, just to fill some time. Yeah. But the Cowboy and Heritage Museum was really, it was freaking cool. cool. And there's no possible way to show you everything that we no. saw, because it was just so much. We spent how long in there? Three, three hours, and a half hours, three and a half hours yeah. in there, but there's just so much, and we yeah. didn't even read everything. No, you can't. We would have been in here from from You'd have open to, come to close. From open to close to read everything because there's so much artwork. Yeah. So if you're in Oklahoma City and you have to come to the to the Cowboy, Cowboy. Museum, uh, today we're at the uh, Oklahoma City Federal Building, the site of the Oklahoma City bombing and museum. And so today, I don't know how much they're gonna let us video in there, yeah. but we'll try to at least take some pictures and show you uh, what, what all's in there. And uh, I was here several years ago, very interesting place, but I've heard it's changed a lot. Yeah. And um, we got uh, we got some flags from the from the Veterans, Veterans Day Parade in Ponca yeah. City, and so uh, we were done using those. So we we 
put those on the on the remembrance pins out here where people leave little tokens of remembrance and just uh, kind of paying their respects to those who lost their lives that day. So we did the same by leaving a couple of American flags out here on the fence. And uh, so we're going to go inside and see what we can see. So what did you think about the memorial site? That's cool. Yeah, it was, um, way, more it was than I expected. way different from when I was there 12 years ago. Yeah. Um, when I was there, it was basically just like, you could see some of the stuff, the artifacts, uh, some of the rubble and some of like the clothing and personal effects of people who, who died there. But it was nothing like the experience that they've created now. Yeah. Now it's like an immersive deal where I don't know. They they've done a really good job of making you like feel it. Yeah. Because you hear the the recordings, where you can hear the the bomb in the background, mm -hmm. and then just to see all of the the damage. Yeah. That was done. It 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 doesn't register in your brain, but when you start seeing like the rim of the truck that blew yeah. blocks away. Yeah. And you see the the eagle that like steel thing yeah, with emblem. like holes through yeah. it from shrapnel and yeah. and bolts like smashed into it that's how yeah. hard this blast was but there was also some really just weird stuff like there was a, a pot of coffee yeah untouched that, that unscathed stuff was kind of weird and then there was like a sports coat that was hanging it was i mean there's like walls blown down around it crumble this around thing's still sitting something. on the hanger yeah untouched it's yeah. just crazy how it's crazy. you know but, um, and then it talks all about the investigation and then the court case yeah. and the, and, uh, Timothy McVeigh and, and Terry Nichols mm -hmm. and, and how that all went down yeah. and the execution of, of Timothy McVeigh. Um, well, we didn't do a ton of video in there. It was just a very somber, yeah, quiet, I mean, it's a memorial, but, yeah. um, and then we went out to the garden yeah, and the garden beautiful. was just awesome the, the 168 chairs yeah. out there and then the 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 room the remembrance room right. with all the pictures yeah of the 168 who who perished there yeah. and it's just there's I mean what we show you in the video is not doesn't do it justice uh, well it obviously. doesn't do justice and it's not everything yeah if you're in Oklahoma City I mean it's a must-see yeah it's part of our country's history mm -hmm. um, it's it's one of those uh, earlier on kind of terroristic domestic terrorism, terrorism yeah type things yeah. but it's good to learn about stuff like that and it's um 
I don't know. It was just. It was also very interesting. It was. Survivor tree. The survivor tree, yeah. Survivor tree was it was, was gorgeous. Yeah, and some friends of ours went back in June. Yeah, when it was green. And sent us a picture, <laughs> and it was all green. And then when we went, it's completely yellow. If you come into Oklahoma City, yeah. you must go to that memorial because, I mean, um, Shame on you there's lots of fun me. stuff to do, <laughs> but don't skip the the yeah. really important yeah stuff. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's important. We went to the game. Yeah. First Thunder game. <laughs> It's both our first Thunder game. Yeah. Not our first basketball game. No. But our but first, first Thunder, Thunder game. Thing. It's crazy because the last basketball game that I went to, the coach of the Golden State Warriors was playing in that game. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is crazy. Last game I went to was in, I was in high school and the Chicago Bulls were playing the Orlando Magic in Orlando and Steve Kerr, who's the coach of the Golden State Warriors now, was, was playing for the Bulls. At that time, I don't so. know what grade I was. At. I was high school. Yeah, but I don't remember what grade. And yeah. it was magic. Yeah, it was really into magic. So the Thunder played the Golden State Warriors, and we won. One. Yeah. We were like up big, and then back down, and then, then got back scary up. For and got scary. A but here, here's the bottom line. If you need your team to win, <laughs> all you gotta do is just invite us to town. Yeah. Because that's all we do is win. <laughs> Every time we show up to somebody's stuff. Every time somebody invites us, we win because we met up with um, the, the Galleons. Well, yeah, we met up with the Galleons in Kansas City, and their hockey team won. Yeah. And then we met up with Ken and Shelly from Fiber Time mm -hmm. on Instagram, mm -hmm. and um, and went to Thunder Game and they won. I mean, it's not a coincidence. <laughs> it's science. It couldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. <laughs> I mean, wag win. Win. I mean, win. It goes. Hand in hand. Bring the W. You can't deny <laughs> science. It's science. Anyway, if your team's in a slump, you know what to do. That's the call. <laughs> bring us to town. Take us to a game. Uh, we'll, we'll bring the W. All day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything else in Oklahoma City was really cool. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. Beautiful. And the river walk down there reminds me a lot of San Antonio. That is a, a sibling to San Antonio's river walk. It is. And we got to eat down at the Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill. Yes. Which, was which cool. is a really cool place. Cool we place. ate there for lunch and um, just all cool kinds of cool memorabilia yeah. and, and yeah, stage and some of his clothing. Yeah. And, and uh, it's just really cool. That and then cool. like the waiting areas. Yeah, it looks like a tailgate. Were, so tailgate. Was, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's uh, it's probably, I mean, that's the only one we've been to. Yeah. I'm just assuming, though that the one here is one of the coolest ones because Toby is from Oklahoma from home, yeah. and this is kind of home for him yeah. and so I think he, he probably he, he probably has this one it, it might, I don't even know if it was the first or not but it's probably one of his favorites but, to come yeah. back to home and because yeah. he's like a big Sooners fan so mm -hmm. I know he's in town for all the games and all that stuff hi buddy scouts out <laughs> we had a couple good days in Oklahoma City and he put brumation on hold. He's like, whoa, time out on brumation. I got to get out and see some stuff. So he's over here. Hi. <laughs> Climbing around. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? We're doing your favorite thing. <laughs> He's hiding and just peeking. Yeah. Like we do at the end of all our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. This one's a little special, too. Uh, a few weeks ago, we honored a fallen hero who was uh, given to us from you and me along the way. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, the son of some of their friends. Yes. Uh, they told us about another uh, service member who was killed in combat who was friends with their son when they were deployed together. And he was killed. His name was Jordan Grez, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. But anyway, we wanted to uh, thank you and me along the way for giving us the information about Jordan. And uh, so we're going to honor him right now. And we hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.